Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today. We've got space weather, including possible multiple Earth impacts coming soon. We'll look at the monthly temperature data and a cool story about the record gamma burst. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on the sun. There was another M-class solar flare, the second in about two days. It came from the incoming limb on the south this time. None of the Earth-facing plasma filaments destabilized, but you might recall a couple of them have the last few days. First, here's a quick peek at the impulsive flare came from that active region turning in now. Flaring is returning, and the biggest sunspots are still on the far side. But more importantly, we had two plasma filament eruptions to end the week. Here was the first one solid snap on the north, but we also had one go yesterday morning. It was largely a collapse event, but those often produce CMEs as well, and that was the case here. Both events are very minor, low-density eruptions, but NOAA forecasters say both have a chance to clip Earth with solar wind enhancements. If both hit over the next 36 hours as they expect, we do have a good chance of minor geomagnetic storm activity. We'll be watching that tonight and tomorrow. Let's go to the March temperature report starting in the United States. First, on the left we have the daily minimum temperature anomaly, how much the temperatures dropped at night. And on the right we have the maximum daily temperatures. Once again, we have the exemplification that the highest heat marks are actually about it not getting as cold at night on the left, while the only blue we see is on the right, where the highest daily highs weren't as high. That is 50 to 70 percent of modern climate change. Next, let's go to the global temperatures and first, here is the mostly red map they're showing to the world, qualitative, with a couple light blue spots only. But here's the numbers, the quantitative data, much less deep red, much more darker blue. Folks, they do this every single month as well. They whitewash the cold anomalies and overplay the heat. It's quite the lack of integrity there. Last but not least, very cool story hitting that brightest gamma ray burst ever, which happened in 2022. The James Webb spectroscopy shows no evidence of heavier elements, leaving astronomers somewhat baffled. They were able to confirm that it was a nova event triggering a gamma burst at the start of it, but their hope to finally witness heavy element production was amiss. The heavy element production in nova has still never actually been observed. Final call here. We are three days away from the observer lunch in Colorado Springs, Tuesday, April 16th. Only a couple spots left. Last chance to grab one of those here today. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.55 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.